Hi everyone, Simona here from Vector Twist. This is day 5 of our series 12 Days of Christmas brought to you by Vector Twist, and today we're going to use the pencil tool. Now the pencil tool in the past hasn't really been much of use, but a lot of improvement have been made to it, and today I would like to show you just a few tricks how you can use it even more efficiently. Now the pencil tool we can find in the toolbar. If you don't see it right away, just hold and press when you see the shaper tool, it is right underneath. Now let's click the pencil tool and then we'll get the pencil tool options. On top of here, you can set the fidelity to be either accurate or smooth. Now what that does is that if you set it to accurate and you will draw something on your artboard, it will be pretty much accurate to how you draw and make tons of points. If you set it to smooth, even if you shake a little bit, if you use a graphic tablet, it will smooth it out for you and actually make a pretty nice line. And then we have the options. The preset looks pretty much like this. You have keep selected on, options key to toggle to smooth tool is not checked, close paths when ends are within 15 pixels, and edit selected path when they are within 6 pixels. Now I would like to show you what happens when we change a few options here. First, we're going to check fill new pencil strokes and we'll uncheck keep selected. And then we're going to set it all the way to smooth and then press OK. Now if I open the swatches panel and I'm going to set the fill to a green and I would like to draw a leaf, I just start drawing how I would usually do. But when I come to the end here, you see a little circle that means that the path will be closed and it will fill it with the green and deselect it. So I could just continue to create another leaf on the side and then another leaf down here on the bottom. Basically, I don't have to deselect anything. It deselects the shape automatically for me and I can start drawing my next shape. This is really helpful if you're going to draw lots and lots of shapes and if you want to create a freehand drawn artwork. Now, if we double click the options again and we'll check keep selected, I would like to show you another trick. I'm going to switch the fill to a red and let's say I want to create a red flower. I have my fill and my stroke on, so I'm going to start my first part. It will keep it selected, so when I go over with the pencil tool, I get a little forward slash, meaning I can start connecting those two points again, and then I continue. And this way I can draw my flower without having to actually select or deselect anything. Now you can also alter the path that you've created. So if I select this shape here, go back to the pencil tool, I would just go over and draw the new path and it will change it for me. But if you double click the pencil tool again to get the options, I really like when it's just fill new pencil stroke selected and keep selected is unchecked. And then you can just start drawing away all your little shapes that you would like to create. I think you get a pretty good idea now what you can do with the pencil tool. The next part is going to be a little bit of a speed art and I'm going to show you how you can just with the pencil tool create a Christmas wreath. So sit back and enjoy.
and here you go. You've created, just with the pencil tool, a Christmas wreath. All we have to do now is just to add some text. So I've already prepared some text. Let me paste it in. And this is it. If you liked it, please leave a comment below. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel here. And at the same time, don't forget to head over to VectorTwist.com and check out more tutorials and articles on the blog. And I'll see you tomorrow with our next tip. So stay tuned. Thank you.